mid morning now, about 10 or 11 o'clock, and uh, we just got into a, a CPR survival location. Um, we'll be here for three days, two nights. Hopefully, we'll be able to to uh, better our situation a little bit. Um, just a bit of a background on what we're going to do. I'll show you what I'm bringing with me, uh, or what I'll be using, I should say. We've also got some backup supplies in case of emergency, just because we don't have anything like a safety camp. Um, included in that is this spot um, GPS messenger, which I can use to send out an OK message to let everybody know that we're fine, or if it's an emergency or non-emergency, to send for help. So we, we have uh, planned this. We've told everybody where we're going, and uh, we're going to take off across the lake towards that direction um, in a couple minutes, and uh, we'll bring you with us, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be uh, my first time. My dad's with me. He's going to act as... Um, no, he's going to join with me and act as a, a backup uh, person as well. So, first time, was a bit nervous now that I get out here and see how uh, beautiful it is and a wonderful day. Not as worried, but we'll see if that changes at, at 10 o'clock tonight. All right, let's go. Well, I think we're in luck. There's a large number of turtles around here. All right, so here we are, and we are getting out at a slightly precarious point. Put the life jacket on, just in case. All right, there's one of us down. I'm gonna go put our stuff on dry land, and uh, we will disembark. We chose a spot. Seems to have a deeper shelf coming off, not too bad. Hopefully we'll get some good space up behind to set up a camp. Alright. Well, my safety crew is uh, leaving me. <laughs> They're going to do some fishing. And I'm going to find a place sheltered where I can set up camp. So I'm going to head off here. Alright, so first priority is going to be shelter. It's not too bad right now, but it's going to get cold. Very cold tonight. Surprise if there's snow. Doesn't cloud over. It clouds over. Alright, so I'm going to size up. There's lots of good materials. Get a bit away from the lake, there's a bit of a breeze here. Alright. Alright. The lake behind me, so I know where I came from. Debris. Collecting uh, stuff as I go. I'll take the opportunity. Got some birch bark here. Not hurting the tree. I'll get some more. Keep it in my pocket, keep it dry until we need to start a fire. Alright. Too much. Well, found the stream that comes in. Some clearish looking water. Do you drink it? Worth it. I won't be too close to this because it can be damp and I can feel the damp temperature difference, but it doesn't seem to matter where I go, there's always wind or it's a slope. Keep looking. Well, heavens of moose around here. Two. See what we can find. This looks like uh, the best area I've seen so far. Big opening here, lots of trees around, protection. So there's even better space down there that I have to clean out a bit, but looks like it has a bunch of um, nice protected and some 
already natural barriers and stuff like that. We'll see. We'll take a look. Some deadfalls we can use for wood. I'm liking it already. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to start to work um, cleaning out uh, some of this area right here and uh, setting up a shelter. We're about 100 yards from the lake. We're a lot higher up. Bit of a breeze, but um, this is by far the most shelter. We've got this big log back here. We've got some deadfalls which are up and dry. We're going to use those for a bit of firewood. What well, we try to clean up. We'll have a big pile of firewood there. And uh, once we get it tidied up, we'll start um, putting together the shelters. And yeah, so I'll uh, we'll get to work. If you don't want to watch me. All right. So sorry to clean this off, and what the plan is going to be is that. I'm going to, uh, I've got these two cross pieces. It wasn't as ideal as I wanted to be, honestly. But I've got these two cross pieces, and I'm going to put uh, some more large, large pieces of wood. And I'm going to uh, spread them along, and I'm going to create a bed of spruce boughs and stuff like that. And then I'm going to build a shelter over, leaning over the top. I've got this piece right here. As you can see, <coughs> I'm going to put another one. I was already there. I'm going to put up another one on the other side and make a shelter coming down on an angle with some of my gear. Oh, it uh, warms you up quick when you're working with a hatchet. And um, I'm going to have to take a little break and took some uh, took a layer off already and uh, make sure I don't uh, get myself too hot and sweating before leaving. I brought a liter of water in with me, and um, after that we'll have to start boiling or risk the creek over there creek about 50-60 feet from here. Yeah, it's really interesting how you just have to assess the situation and uh, slow down. I know everybody knows that, but you really do when you're coming out here with a purpose like this. You, you, you do look around a lot more. You do move more slowly. working on this I got some improvements to make um, clearly but <coughs> just wanted to go through what I brought with me for this experience and um, I'm going to start with just safety gear we got the uh, bear spray got a pair of gloves got a waterproof jacket um, I've got the spat satellite those are just things that I'm going to keep be keeping with me the whole time just for emergencies um, I brought this pot we can use for cooking it's a light aluminum pot this uh, little snack bag, it has two pieces of uh, processed cheese um, and three pieces of year old homemade super dry um, fruit leather. So those, got to decide if I'm going to eat them or if I'm going to use them. I've got a bit of uh, paracord tied to the top of this lid. I've got this paracord bracelet from Survival Straps I'm going to be using. You've seen a uh, the hatchet? Wait a minute. Got a hatchet from SOG and I've got this SOG Aegis that they gave me. I told them I'd be coming out here. Nice knife, useful so far, and the hatchet as well. Got this little water bottle here again. I brought in with me. Alright. And then to the interesting things. Not even six feet, paracord. Got some extra paracord that I'm not going to touch unless I really need it. A uh, emergency, really super lightweight plastic poncho. I've got a fire steel um, that I've got. I've got a couple of tiny LED lights that don't do much, but are going to have something for night. I've got my. Uh, AMK Adventure Medical Kits um, survival kit. It's got a bit of duct tape, a couple matches, a whistle, some tinder start, and a survival fishing kit, which I've just added a bit more line to, and a couple uh, things that I'll show you later that I picked up from uh, Intense Angler. So 
So this basic fishing kit, it's got a survival blanket in there too, which I'm going to make use of. And another survival blanket, because there's two of us out here. I've got this, which I didn't want to leave without, which is basically a tick remover, nothing more. Um, but out here there are ticks and they carry some nasty bugs, so I don't want to get anything on me. And I've got a, um, a fire pack, so if it, the weather's bad, I might use this to start the fire. So that's it. Like I say, not much. Not much food, a couple survival blankets um, that I'm going to make use of in our shelter, and a poncho. That's it, and um, yeah, we'll see uh, if we can't uh, get some things put together and uh, make something that'll keep us through these nights. Like I said, I was a bit higher, but it was snowing in the day, so who knows what's going to happen in the night. Um, but we've got to get the shelter going. Right now, it's, it's the beginning of May, and it's uh, midday, 12.30 right now, so we've got a couple hours. I'm getting myself a bit too warm, I can already feel it, and I'm going to have to dry out before it's night time. To make the most of this, this six foot piece that I've got here, um, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm pulling out this, this is military grade paracord, so each of these strands here, um, of all the seven of them, I can take out and I can use the casing. green part here and these cords to to tie up some wood and um, make some more use of this for anything that's not too load bearing so I'm going to do that now I've got a lot more cord now <laughs> well <coughs> as you can see we're getting there um, add some pine boughs <coughs> I'm going to keep doing that the cedar makes a nice smooth surface but it doesn't give a lot of loft um, so that's one of the concerns. But we've tied this bar across the top and the next step is going to be to put our shelter and we're just gonna, it's a combination of a bunch of different ones you've probably seen. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get these emergency blankets out and I'm gonna have it coming down on an angle so that it'll uh, reflect the heat of the fire which is gonna be down here. And hopefully that should provide a break from the wind which is coming off the lake from that direction as well as providing a um, uh, ref like I say, the reflection of the heat of the fire. So that's going to be our next job is to uh, our next job is going to be to um, get enough firewood uh, to uh, to keep us warm for the night. So this is an uh, emergency medical kit um, emergency blanket. It's got a nice orange side which would be good for signaling in an emergency. But, uh, Now we've got a second one in, in the case. It's about seven feet long, six and a half, seven feet long. So I'll put that up and, uh, and get working on windproofing these sides to reflect more heat down. So that uh, the emergency medical kit, uh, um, survival kit, sorry, had a couple pieces of a roll, a small roll of duct tape in there. So I'm going to be breaking this up into small pieces. The biggest thing I'm using it to worry about next is going to be the sides just to keep the uh, rain off the sides. Uh, I might use the other uh, space blanket considering that we've got it and just do the same thing that I've been doing here and uh, just reflect it in off the sides. This, is, this should reflect a lot of the heat down onto us and make it much warmer and uh, much more comfortable for us All tonight. Right, so this is where we're at right now. Um, We've got uh, the shelter taped up and tightened on the top and on the sides we took the other mother blanket, we cut it in two and used it to reflect heat again downwards. And when you're sitting in here there's completely free of wind, much more comfortable, uh, but again it's going to come into its own when we put the fire in front of us and uh, when we get that going. So I've got to go get some more firewood because as they say, if you think you have enough, you get ten times as much too big issue here is how much wet stuff there is, so got to look for dead standing, and, uh, and there's a little trick we're going to take a look at for showing how whether dead standing is dry, because sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Alright, let's go.